All right, well, hey there, guys. Welcome back to the Depression Session channel. It is me, Weed Man, and today I'm going to be making a tier list of animals that I think I could beat in a fight. Now, pretty self-explanatory. Here we have different tiers. I would paint the walls in their blood. They'd get a few hits in, but ultimately I would win. It would be a close one, but I win. I don't know why that says, but if win, but I win, basically. 50-50 chance that I win or lose. It would be a close one, but I'd lose. I'd get a few hits in, but I would lose. I'd get torn to fucking shreds, or I'd be too scared to even fight it. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I have quite a bit of uh, overconfidence and a little bit of hubris in me. Um, <laughs> so I think a good majority of these animals, I could win in a fight. Genuinely, just, just looking over this list really quickly, I'd say over half of them I'd be willing to throw hands with. You know what I mean? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and hop into this. So first, we got the lobster. Now, a lobster... I'm not even worried about this. The worst thing this could do would like pinch my finger, you know what I mean? Or maybe my toe or something. So as long as I keep my distance and I just step over it and then step on it, I think I'd be fine. Now granted, if this was in the water, that's a good question. Am I going to rank these? See, because a lot of these are like environment based, you know what I mean? Like if I were to fight an octopus outside of the water, I would kick his ass, you know what I mean? So I think I'm going to go ahead and choose to fight these things in their natural habitat. Now that makes it a lot harder for me. A hell of a lot harder. But I'm still going to go ahead and do it. For a lobster, even if I'm fighting it in water, the water's going to be kind of cold. But I still think I would paint the walls in their blood. I don't even think this thing would touch me. It's just the cockroach of the ocean. I would just step over it and step on it. Simple as that. Now next we have a zebra. Now a zebra is essentially a horse. I don't know the size comparison between a zebra and a horse, but I'm going to go ahead and say it is a little bit more intimidating than a horse because horses are like a little bit more domesticated. You know what I mean? At least when I think of horses, like obviously, yeah, there are wild horses. But whenever I think of horse, I think of the domesticated ones that we use just to like ride. You know what I mean? But I do think a zebra would be a little bit more terrifying. Do I think I could kill a zebra though? Sorry, do I think I could fight a zebra? I think it, I think a zebra might get a couple hits on me, but ultimately I would win. Um, I can't really tell you why I think that. Because uh, I'm just imagining it's like, it's a zebra. It has like one attack. Well, technically two. It could either like stomp on me or charge at me. Now the charge is probably the s more scary one because if it was a stomp, I could just like step to the side. <laughs> But I, I think it, I, I don't think I'd come out of this entirely unscathed, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it, and they get a few hits, but ultimately I would win. Now next we have the field mouse. However, there is no other like mouse or mice on this list, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lump all of them together. Um, even if it's like a rat, you know what I mean, which is probably the scariest form of these things, it's going down. Like I'm sorry, it's going down again. Same thing with this step to the side stomp on it like it, it would not even be a contest now granted these things do have poison damage with rabies or whatever diseases they have but i still think you know at the very least just kick it you know what i mean it is very fast but i'm even faster <laughs> now next we have a deer now deer are interesting now to me deer have always been explained and shown as very timid creatures. They use their speed and their agility to get away from predators. However, they do have those horns. And I think if I got like a really like angry stag that it would be pretty terrifying. Now, granted, it's not an elk, which I don't think are on this list. No, they're not. Now, if it was an elk, if it was an elk, I think I'd lose, honestly. But if it's just a regular deer, I'm gonna go ahead and put it, and it would be, yeah, it would be, it would be close. It would be a close one, but I would win simply because going off of it, if I got this just really just angry stag, it would be really hard, especially because the horns, because they hit me with those horns. It's it's bad. It's bad. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this. Now next we have an iguana. Now iguanas, who gives a fuck about iguanas? Like honestly, like what do they do? What's their purpose? What are their goals? What are their dreams? Aspirations even. They are quick again, and they do have those little talons to scratch. Now I can see, I could see an iguana kind of getting some hits on me, honestly, because they're so quick and so like nimble. I guess I could see them getting a couple hits on me, like a, like a few, a few scratches, you know. All right, now next we have the squid. Now squids, from my understanding, aren't as vicious or tactile as octopi are, but they do have the ink. I'm pretty sure squids are the one that shoot the ink. It could be octopi. I don't really know. 
I'm gonna go ahead with the assumption that they do. Now, squid, I'm actually pretty sure are deeper in the ocean than octopi. Uh, I could be very wrong about that. Marine biologists, please comment down below. So I think if I had to be down there with like a scuba suit on, I would be kind of terrified to go and run into a squid, especially like a really big one. I still think, I don't think it would be entirely easy, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it and they get a few hits on me. Cause squid are very fast from my understanding. They're faster than octopi. And so they would be harder to hit. And if it was like really, really attacking me, I'd be in like in the depths of the ocean. So it'd be really dark. I couldn't really see a whole lot. So I think it'd get a few hits on me, but I don't think that it would kill me. I really don't. I don't feel, unless it's like a gigantic one, like a Kraken or something. Now, if it's a Kraken, I'd be torn to shreds, right? But if it's just your regular everyday nine to five squid, I'm winning. Now, next we have a grizzly bear. And in fact, there's no other bears on this list. So just bears in general. Now bears, bears are terrifying right there they are kind of timid but they will fuck you up i think it's something like a black bear you can scare but a brown bear you just die <laughs> and then polar bears polar bears are terrifying right however because of my own hubris and because of my own ego i think it would be a close one but i lose i think because it, it, it depends on the bear if it's a black bear i feel pretty confident but it's a grizzly or a polar bear you know what it's probably getting the better of me Right now, granted, this is assuming all of these, all these fights, all these, um, yeah, all these fights are assuming that I have just my like everyday carry on me. You know what I mean? Like the things that I always take with me outside my house, which is always a knife. So I always have a pocket knife on me as a tool. So this is the assumption that I have that with me, which probably does, um, skew it a little bit but it's my tier list in my channel so i do what i want now next we have hippos now hippos i am terrified of hippos these things are absolutely terrifying they can crush watermelons they have such strong bite force and from my understanding they just attack humans for fun i would be too scared to fight these especially in its own habitat if i come across hippos i am treating them with nothing but respect i'm calling them sir and ma'am and giving them my wallet and just i would never fight these things for the life of me i may be i may be overconfident but I do know my limits. Next we have a sea turtle. Sea turtle, I'm fucking up. They're slow. They're, I mean, they do have the protective shell, but their neck is exposed. They could get a bite on me technically, but I think, I think the only way a sea turtle would get a bite on me is if I didn't see it coming. Like if I saw it coming to me, I would just like grab its shell and just turn it away. You know what I mean? So I think I would paint the walls with this blood. Now we have tigers. Now tigers are terrifying. They're cats, which cats are a lot more nimble. Um, hmm. Do I think I could take a tiger? Do I think I could take a tiger? I want to say yes, but something about that just doesn't quite feel right. Because it's like, yeah, they're like apex predators and cats. But at the same time, it's just a cat. I have a cat. I know cats. Cats love me. You know what I mean? I know how I know cat behavior. And now granted, if I get hit and taken down by this thing, it's over. It's, it's just over. Like, if I let this thing get the upper hand, it's over. But I'm going to say 50-50. I'm going to say it's 50-50 for the tiger. Something something about tigers feels like I could kind of take them. But something about them also feels like I can't take them. You know what I mean? And next, we have wolves. Now, wolves are also terrifying. They're probably equally as terrifying as the tiger. The thing with wolves, they come in packs. Now, if it was a pack, I'd get torn to shreds. You know what I mean? If there's, like two or three or five or however many come in a pack i'd be torn to shreds but if it was just a singular wolf if it was just a singular wolf i think it'd be a close one but i think i would win honestly because dogs kind of have like simple attack patterns you know what i mean it's like they have the run the bite and lunge so as long as i am quick enough and react quick enough i could dodge it you know what i mean but i do think it would get at least a couple a couple attacks on me like some scratches maybe a bite i don't really know but I think it'd be a close one, but I think ultimately I could win against a wolf. I think I could beat the fuck out of a wolf. Next we have parrots. Um, I don't really know why it's on this. Now next we have kimono dragons. Now kimono dragons are one of those things that I am also kind of scared of. Um, just because I heard how vicious they can be. But again, it's pretty slow. However, it does have like very scaly skin. So maybe my knife wouldn't would have a harder time penetrating it. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know. See, the thing is, is I don't know a lot about these. I really don't know a lot about kimono dragons. Um, there was a while I thought they were poisonous and they could be. I don't know anymore. I'm going to go ahead and put it in 50-50 just because I know like almost nothing about these creatures. I don't know what they're capable of, but I know what I'm capable of. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in 50-50. Now we have a lion. 
Now, honestly, I think I'm a little more scared of lions than tigers, just because lions are, I mean, they're the king of the jungle, you know what I mean? They tend to be a lot more angry and a lot more vicious, and they have um, prides to take care of, both their women and their general pride. Real quick, if I put it right here, it looks like the Kimono Dragon's claws are the lion's claws. So honestly, because they are, to me, a little bit scarier than a tiger, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it, and it would be a close one, but I lose. Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it, and it would be a close one, but I lose. Because I do think I could, mm, you know what, no, I think I'm going to move it down to I'd get a few hits, but I would lose. Because lions are faster than grizzly bears, you know what I mean? So they're a little bit more scarier to me. Now, granted, I probably should put tigers here or whatever, but I still, for some reason, I feel like I could take a tiger, but not a lion. Lions, I don't know. I don't know what it is about these things. I think it's just the, like, the, like, masculine energy that they have with the mane and the women and all that. Um, I, ultimately, I'd get a few hits in, but I do think I would lose. Now, next, we have a bald eagle. Now, bald eagles, of all the birds, are probably, except for maybe vultures, they're probably one of the more scarier birds to run into. Um, now the only thing I'm really worried about this is they can fly. So they can fly up, come down, swoop down, all of that. They're very, very fast. Very, very sharp talons, these things. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in 50-50. It's hard to tell just because it has the element of flight. If it didn't have the element of flight, uh, I'd probably say this. Or if, or at the very least, if they didn't have as good a flight as they do, I would put it there. But because they have such good flight, it would be a 50-50 chance. Now we have rhinos. Now rhinos are one of those things that I would be too scared to fight. Honestly, like I would not want to fight these fuckers. They got horns. They got the hide. They got the the, the, the absolute weight and muscle to them. It's the same as the hippo. It's like anything that is overly big or could just crush me by laying on me. I really do not want to fight these things at all. And next we have a, a finch or something. Just like a regular like... Bird house bird, um, <laughs> my room is being red. <laughs> I actually have panda bears. Now, panda bears, I'd, I'd feel more confident than a grizzly bear or any other bear, honestly, because they're slower and they're lazy and they're just kind of soft boys, you know what I mean? Um, however, I do think the fact that it still is a bear would make it be a close one, but I think I would win. I do think I can get the upper hand on it. Now, my own hubris is telling me to put it here. But I think I'm going to put it here just because, in fact, it is a bear. <laughs> now, we have a ferret. Um, it could bite me. Whatever. I'll just pick it up and swing it around like a sock and throw it against a wall and call it a night. <laughs> now, silverback gorillas. Now, silverback gorillas, following my, like, criteria of things I wouldn't fight, you'd think I'd put it here. However, fighting a gorilla is just, like, such a primal thing you know what i mean it's like something about it like every time i see a gorilla in the zoo i'm like i want to fight that thing even if i die it'd be a hell of a way to go out um so just because of that i'd get torn to shreds like i know that there's a 95 percent, 99 percent chance that i don't live uh, i would do it anyway just for the story you know what i mean because if i do end up doing it and do end up living I, I'd, I'd be king. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just for the possibility of having the story of saying I fought a silverback gorilla, I'd do it. I'd do it. I'd die, but I would do it. <laughs> now we have orangutans. Now orangutans. Now they aren't as scary as gorillas because they don't have the size. But personally, orangutans creep me out. I don't really know what it is about orangutans that creep me out so much. I think it's just that they're so, like, human-like. You know what I mean? And the fact that they just have those like beady little sunken in eyes, something about these things always gave me their creeps. However, thinking about orangutan as it is, I think they'd get a few hits in, but ultimately I would win. Actually, no, I am terrified of monkeys. I just realized that like I am terrified of monkeys because when they attack you, they don't just kill you, right? They do not just kill you. They go after your eyes, your ears, your nose, your genitals, your hands. They rip everything off of you that makes you a person, essentially. So I actually am very, very fucking terrified of these things. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to fight these things, honestly. I think it's orangutans specifically that do that. So I've never wanted to fight one of these things, especially a gang of these. Now, if it was just one of them. If it was just one of them and he was like a docile one, I think he'd probably get a few hits in, but ultimately I would win. My my overconfidence right now is telling me I could take one of these things. 
Now, if I was thinking logically right now, um, I would never want to fight these things for that simple reason that they just tear everything off of you. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and say I'd get a few hits in. I'd be a little bruised and bleeding, but I think ultimately I can get the upper hand on these things. Now, next we have llamas. Llamas, I'm not worried about. Um, the worst they could probably do is spit, like spit in my eye or whatever. Uh, but it does still have size advantage, so I think it'd get a few hits in, but ultimately I would win. I feel pretty confident, pretty confident against a llama, but I don't think I'd come out completely unscathed. I don't know, llamas can be pretty vicious. Nah. The next we have sharks. Now sharks, again, it's another water one, so I do have the disadvantage of that. Actually, yeah, they can, they can swim faster than me, and they're specifically, like, made to hunt in the water. They're, they're, the, they're the water's lion when you think about it. So they're kind of the king of the ocean when you really, really think about it. I think, I think, a, I think a shark would be 50-50, honestly. Like, isn't it something like you just gotta, like, punch them in the nose and they go away or something like that? Or poke them in the eye or something? It's like, yeah, I might get bit, but from what I hear, they don't really, like, consider humans prey. They just kind of do that if they're, like, extra hungry or whatever. Um, I think it'd be pretty 50-50. Yeah, I feel, that feels pretty pretty right to me. Now, an elephant, same thing. I'd be too scared to fight this thing. I'm not approaching these things. Um, I do know they're very friendly to humans, and they look at them like pets. Like, the same, the same like, mental um, processes that go off in our brain when we see, like, a cat or something we find cute. That same process goes off in their brain when they see us. So, I know they're very docile to us, but... We used war elephants for a reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? Humans way back in the day used war elephants for a reason. These things are terrifying. I don't want to go up against these. Next we have a snake. Now snakes, snakes are terrifying. Just mainly because the poison aspect of the, yeah, the poisonous aspect of it. I think it'd get a few hits in them, but ultimately I would win. Uh, it'd be close, but um, it, see, it depends on the snake. You know what I mean? If it's like a rattlesnake or like a coral snake or something that's like really venomous, I'm probably dying. Uh, but if it's just like a garden snake or uh, what? Oh, if it's a boa constrictor, that's terrifying. Boa constrictors are fucking terrifying. I think it'd be a close one, but I'd win. Because if it's like a boa constrictor, obviously that'd be a lot harder. But if it's just like a garden snake, I, you know, I'm chugging it at a wall and calling it a night. Now, alligators are another really terrifying animal. They really are. See, alligators are terrifying because if they attack you one time, they just do a death roll and you just die. I think it'd be a close one. I don't think it'd live much longer after it got done with me, but ultimately, I think I'd probably lose, especially in its natural habitat of like the bog and the swamp and all that. I wouldn't be able to see it because these things are masters of camouflage. Like their whole thing is you don't see them and all of a sudden you're bitten and you're death rolled to death. <laughs> So I think it'd be a close one, but ultimately I do think I would lose. Now next we have a horse. Now horses, I have been bit by a horse before, uh, just because I was in its pen cleaning the droppings or whatever you want to call it and filling its little holes and it just decided to be an asshole and bite me. Didn't really do that much damage. I mean, obviously it hurt and it bruised, but whatever. Honestly, I do think I could take a horse in a fight, um, but I don't think it'd be that easy. Yeah, they'd get a few hits in, but ultimately I'd win against a horse. Because again, it's just kind of a horse. Same thing with the zebra. You know what I mean? It's like, ultimately, what can they do? Granted, if they kick me, I'm just dead. See, that's the problem with this. Is a lot of these animals just have a one-shot kill. But if I'm able to avoid that, it's not that hard of a fight. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I'm going to just leave it here for right now. Now, a cheetah. Cheetahs are terrifying because they're faster than a lion. I guess by going by, by that logic, I'd get torn to fucking shreds. Just following that logic of if a lion's here, this is scarier than a lion, so it goes here. Um, I do probably think... Nah, because cheetahs have that speed, man. Cheetahs are just so fast that I wouldn't be able to do anything, honestly. Yeah, I'd get torn to shreds against a cheetah. Like, just no stop. I think cheetahs, they just... It's too much speed. Like, I know my speed. I know I have good speed, but I can't beat a cheetah. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there, and I'd get torn to shreds. Now, a clownfish, again... I don't know why it's on this list, but it is. So, you know, I'd paint the wall with their blood. No, I think if I were ever to fight a clownfish, I would just keep it as a pet and name it Nemo. <laughs> and just have it in my house. Just like, oh, that's, you know, that's Nemo. Um, but yeah, if I had to fight this thing, I'd just grab it out of the water and whatever. No contest. Same with a house cat. If it's a house cat. Uh, uh, you know what? I think, I'd get, I think they get a few hits in. If it was like a really angry house cat, it'd probably scratch me up a little bit. But ultimately, I'm winning against these things. Now, octopi are a little bit more scary. 
than a squid because they have more articulation and they're smarter. Because you can like put them in a mason jar and they'll unscrew the lid from the inside and escape. Assuming it's not like a giant octopus, I think it'd be a close one, but I would win ultimately. Just because it can like wrap me up, but it's like I could just stab it. You know what I mean? I think some octopi have claws or like little talons. That might be squids. I don't really know, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it. It would be a close one, but I would win. Now, crabs, they're the same thing as lobsters. Step to the side, use them like a frisbee, make a nice little crab boil, give them some money. You know, it's no contest. I'd kill the fuck out of a crab. Now, dogs, uh, would I rather find a cat or a dog? Like a house dog. Now, I have been bitten by house dogs before. Um, granted, it was a chihuahua, so that's probably why. Again, it's it's kind of the same thing where it's like it would get like a bite or two on me. But I think ultimately I'd end up just kicking the fucker. Now a peacock. Peacocks are too obvious. I'd see it coming from a mile away. It's got the big flowers. Flowers? Feathers. It's got the really big feathers. They're more, they're more bark than they are bite. You know, it's called peacocking for a reason. I think I'd win against these flamboyant fuckers. Sheep? Do I think I could take a sheep? I mean, I don't know. I've always heard sheep or like whenever I think of a sheep, I think of like, you know what? No, actually, sheep are scared of dogs. Like these things, they get herded by dogs. I think I could kill a sheep. No, stop. Now, a swan. I used to be scared of swans um, and geese specifically when I was a kid because my grandfather told me that geese like shiny things and the and children's eyes are like shiny for some reason. And so there's been a lot of stories of geese like plucking uh, children's eyes out. So I was terrified of geese growing up. I, I do think like a goose or a swan would get a couple hits, I'd get a few hits in, but ultimately I think I just win. It's just a bird, it swims. whoop de doo I'm man. <laughs> All right, now we have whales. Now, I don't know about y'all, but what in the actual hell can I do to a whale? Like, honestly, like, I could poke its eye. I could try and stab it. It wouldn't do a goddamn thing. So I don't even want to fight these things. Like, if I'm in the ocean and I see a whale coming at me with, ing with aggressive intent, I'm saying my final prayer. Like, I'm sorry. I would not want to fight a whale. Now, a seal, um... I am kind of intimidated by seals. I don't really know why. I think it's just because they're the dog of the ocean. You know what I mean? Now, since it's the dog of the ocean, I think they get a few hits in. You know what I mean? Just because they're a little slippery. Uh, but if sharks are like the tigers of the sea, and that's a 50-50, I'm going to go ahead and put it and then get a few hits in. But ultimately, I do think I would win. Now, a cow, a cow is kind of terrifying, honestly. Like, if you have a really angry cow those things can be very terrifying honestly i want to go 50 50 i'm not even gonna lie to you because something about cows are just so just sturdy they're such sturdy animals that it would take a lot to take one down especially now with the like genetically modified and the the hormonized or homogenized or whatever it is the the just the steroids they pump into cows and i'm, I'm lumping bulls in with these two so i think it'd be fit well actually if it was bulls Bulls are terrifying. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it in 50 50 for right now. Now, dolphins. Dolphins are also terrifying to me because they're so smart. And I heard something about them like raping people. I don't know if that's an actual thing, but that's what I've always heard. Honestly, I would be scared to fight a dolphin just because they are. Oh my god, they're so fast too. They're so smart and they're so fast. And they're just little, like, just degenerates too it's like they'll they'll like i forget what exact animal it is but they'll like bat baby seals or whatever into the air just for fun like they'll just murder babies for fun i do not want to fight a dolphin honestly they have the speed they have the intelligence they have the absolute just derangedness of them i don't want to go anywhere near these things if there's aggressive intent towards me now last we have the goat now goats they're pretty cool. I like goats. Goats are honestly a good animal for me. Uh, there was a while that I was cleaning goat pens for this lady that was like a farm lady kind of, and I was cleaning goat pens, horrendously underpaid, but I got to play with the baby goats and I like baby goats. Goats are just kind of cool. They can be kind of vicious. They're pretty docile. Um, I think, I think they probably get a few hits in, but they would win because they're very proficient in like the head butting, 
We've all played Goat Simulator. So I think I, th I think they would get a few hits in, but ultimately I could win. I feel pretty confident about fighting a goat. All right, so this is the tier list, right? I'm going to make a few adjustments. I'm going to make a few adjustments before we move on to the final tallying. Now, the adjustments that I want to make, I think I want to go ahead and move zebras down to it would be a close one, but I would win uh, just simply because they're essentially wild horses and horses are domesticated and bred and all that while zebras are not. So they have a little bit of that survival instinct and a little bit of that wild animal edge to them. So I'm going to go ahead and just move them down one tier to it would be close one but I would win. Now, since I did kind of lump in geese with swan, I think I'm gonna move it down to it would be a close one just because of personal fears. I think geese are very vicious animals and I hate them so much every time I see them. I think it'd be a close one, but I would win. Now, if I was to go off of my own ego, I would just put it here where it was, but going off of my more rational brain and my more like internalized fear, I'm moving it down one. Now, I've kept coming back to this tiger on whether I would move it down one or not. But again, there's still something just like viscerally inside of me that feels like I could take a tiger, which makes no sense because a lion and a cheetah are the lowest are on the lowest two tiers of this list. And you'd think like I'd rather have the lion here because lions are a little bit slower, but I don't know, something about me just feels like I could take a tiger. I don't know what it is. Just something inside of me says you can take a tiger. So I think with this, I'm going to go ahead and lock in these answers. And these are the animals that I can fight. Actually, no, real quick. These things creep me out. I don't want to be anywhere near these fucking things. They go down there. So this is now the final, the final ranking of everything. So in the tier of I would paint the walls with the blood, we have lobsters, mouse, sea turtles, and honestly, just turtles in general. We have a parrot regular birds, a ferret, a starfish, a clownfish, a crab, a peacock, a sheep, and a mallard duck, or just ducks in general. In they'd get a few hits in, but ultimately I'd win. We have iguanas, squid, llamas, horses, cats, dogs, owls, seals, and goats. And then and it would be a close one, but I would win. We have zebras, deer, wolves, panda bears, snakes, octopi, and swans slash geeses. Geese. In 50-50, we have tigers, kimono dragons, yes, bald eagles, sharks, and cows. In it would be close, but I'd lose, we have bears and alligators. In I'd get a few hits in, but I would lose, it would be lions. I'd get torn to shreds, it'd be silverback gorillas and cheetahs, and I'd be too scared to fight, it'd be hippos, rhinos, elephants, whales, dolphins, and orangutans. Which, honestly, there's a lot more in this tier than I would honestly like to admit. Um, I think I might move the elephant up. If if I were to redo this list, I'd probably move the elephant up, but I'm going to leave it here for right now. So this is the final tier list of what animals I think I could take in a fight. Some of these I'd demolish. Some of these would be fun, a fun fight, a fun fair fight. You know what I mean? Now, obviously, don't fight animals. It's not fun. They're just, they're on this earth and they have just as much right as we do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below what your favorite part was. And if there's any animals on this list that you think you could take that I don't think I can or vice versa, let me know. You're wrong, <laughs> but let me know. So I'll go ahead and do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll go, we'll go ahead and see you guys back here Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 p.m. with new videos. Subscribe to enjoy, and I will go ahead and see you guys next time. Goodbye.